good morning students uh, today the first lecture one of your subject environmental engineering c701 subject code and in module one uh, the topic is water demands per capita demand and variation in demand i am going to start i am going to deliver my lecture today so this is the first lecture on water demands per capita demand variations in demand in module 1 of your subject environmental engineering as you know that water is fundamental to life livelihood and sustainable development the human right to water entities everyone without discrimination to sufficient safe acceptable physical accessible and affordable water for personal and domestic use now today's reality is you'll be surprised to hear the facts from me 785 million people remain without even basic drinking water very very unfortunate to the global world two out of five people in worldwide do not have a basic hand washing facility even with a soap and water at home. One out of four healthcare facilities worldwide lack basic drinking water services. So that we should know these facts. By 2030, the survey report telling us 700 million people would be displaced by intense water scarcity. Two billion people like to continue experiencing like water stress. So, after these facts, what are the problems and challenges to us, my dear students? That is the water availability and quantity, water quality, even the water availability is there, we must think the water quality. Obviously, the population is a factor because water demands depend on the population, move the population, move the water demand. Industrial growth and urbanization, without the water, no industrial development is possible because water is a, some sort of energy given to the industry. Climatic change, water demand depends on the climatic change. These are the problems and challenges to us. And finally, water management governance system. Now, what can we do? Indian supply and use, protection resources, effective and efficient management, be a responsible citizen. Because after using, you go on opening the tap and the wastage of the water is there. So automatically, a citizen responsibility is coming. So, this acquire, acquire awareness and knowledge about the water source, sectoral demands, availability, supply system, and the governance. So, these are the primary things about the water I must say before opening my lecture today, the first lecture, water demands. So water demands means water is required by that I'm telling you by residential use, which we call the domestic demand, industrial use, which is called the industrial demand, water used against the firefighting, that is the firefighting demand, public use, that means the public roads and infrastructures, that is the public use demand, and water lost or on an unaccounted, unauthorized connection, water, pilferage, water, theft, water lost, that generally we are going to highlight area-wise. Now, total water demands is 270 liters per capita per day. Out of that, we can see from my lecture, which I am sharing my screen to everybody, that the Residential or domestic demand is 135 liter per capita per day. That means 50% of the demand we can see 
again i am saying 50% of the water demand we can see that is from the residential demand that is 135 liter per capita per day then industrial demand if you can talk it is the 40 liter per capita per day then fire fighting demand it is the minimum 15 liter per capita per day my dear students although we can see the fire fighting demand is very less over here that is the 15 liter per capita per day if you talk on capita basis then definitely the demand is less but my dear student it might be remembered that the fire fighting water discharge that is liter per minute is very very high that will show afterwards public use if we talk about that is the 25 liter per capita per day and just now we have discussed regarding the water lost or unaccounted that is the unauthorized collection water loss uh all top the pipes connections valves damages of the pipes water lost that is 55 liter per capita per day so at a glance we have come to know the what are the different sectors water is required and water is water demand is calculated based on individual sector demands which i have already highlighted to you next what is per capita demand per capita demand means total requirement of water calculated on average basis and is expressed so many liters per capita per day that means total requirement of water divided by the total person per day will give the per capita demand so if q is the total quantity of water i can say required by a town per year in liters and the population of the town is p then per capita demand is we can see from my lecture that q divided by p divided by 365 liters per day now let me go to the is 1172 to 1963 which is giving us which is giving us the total requirement total requirement area wise item wise in the domestic supply which we have highlighted that 135 liter per capita per day let us see what is the break of the requirement of 135 liter per capita per day in the domestic purpose that is not, that is the residential purpose i am going to say bathing if you see as per code all these things i have revealed from is 1172 so bathing it gives the figure 55 liters per capita per day washing of clothes it gives the 20 liter per capita per day uh flushing of what is uh, closet that is system flushing i am talking for that is 30 liters per capita per day now then uh washing of house washing the house means floor washing uh, garage washings uh building washings this is 10 uh, liter per capita per day then if you can talk for the washing of utensils it is 10 liter per capita per day cooking is 5 liter per capita per day drinking is 5 liter per capita per day so you can see the 135 liter per capita per day what of the breakup area wise utility utility wise in the domestic purpose you can see the bathing requirement of water is very much required because when you bath under the uh, shower so you can feel how much water is wasted uh, while bathing so 55 liters per capita per day is the maximum consumption in bathing we can see from this tabular chart now coming to the part of uh, after the domestic part we can discuss for the fire fighting demand that means the water required for fire fighting as we have told you as we have discussed earlier that the per capita demand is minimum we have seen 15 liter per capita per day which is a minimum among all other but the rate at which the water is required that is 
liter per minute that is the rate is very very large the rate of fire demand is sometimes treated as a function of population that means more the population more the fire fighting water requirement is more so and this work out from the empirical formula there are some empirical formula here i am going to highlight the four empirical formula and on applying on this formula based on the population of the city the fire fighting water requirement can be found out let us consider the population of a city is 1 lakhs and that computation i am going to highlight using those four formulas first formula i am going to highlight is american insurance association what is that all formula will give you the q that means the discharge of the water in liter per minute so let us see the american insurance association formula q equal to 4637 square root of p into 1 minus 0.01 square root of p so what is this this is basically the uh, requirement of the water uh, for, for fire fighting where p is 1000 that means what do mean by in formula p is 1000 because if i talk about the 1 lakhs 1 lakhs means p will be 100 because automatically p in 1000 so we have to put the figure p p is 100 because 100 Times thousand is one lakh. Give us the one lakh. So if we talk for the one lakh population, and the formula is built, it is shown that p in thousand. That means what value of p you have to insert in the formula? You have to take the value of p equal to hundred. And after computing, it will give four one seven three three. Again, the Kuchling's formula gives us the three one eight two square root of p. What gives us? Because the uh 3182 square root of p if we put 100 that means again i am saying the same thing for 1 lakh population means p the figure we have to put in the formula is 100 as because p in 1000 in the built up formula so 3182 into square root of 100 means 10 so it gives us 31820 freeman's formula 1136 into p by 5 plus 10 putting the value of p That means p by p is 20. Putting the value of p equal to 100, you will get the value of uh, water requirement for fire fighting using Freeman's formula is 34080. That is liter per minute. For Boston's formula, 5660 square root of p. P again, you will put the 100 because here we are creating the example of the city whose population is 1 lakh. So I have fixed the example considering the one lakh population. So you have to uh, you have to put the value of p equal to hundred, and we'll get the value of p five six three zero in the Boston's formula. So depending on the condition which formula you are using, you will get the accordingly value the population. Now let us talk for the public use. now what are the public use now water used in road washing water used in road washing uh, sanitation public park etc etc are categorized as the public use water that means the water used for public community purposes now industrial use what are the industrial use now office building hotels shopping mall commercial mall a uh, school hospitals cinema house railways bus station etc 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 these are coming under the sector of the industrial use including the commercial zone that you have to remember finally the last we have reached that is the water system losses the water system losses uh, means it water loss due to the leakage in mains Main main line pipe, service line pipe, valves, vents, whatever the fixing fittings of the pipes, and if leakages there, then pipe is leak through that connection, either the connections or the vents or the valves or the main pipe, main service lines, pipe lines. So these things are wastage. We have to consider for demand. Otherwise, 
if you don't consider in your design these water losses then in actual cases our uh, water availability will be less so to protect to assure the water availability to the end utility services we have to consider this water losses system so miscellaneous reasons unaccounted water they are also you have to take care the unauthorized connection that certain percentage we have we have already highlighted what percentage of water losses among the total water demand you have to consider that i have given that i have shown the figure early now let us consider the fluctuations in rate of demand and these type of fluctuations in rate of demand in terms of average daily per capita demand average daily per capita demand or annually demand if this average demand is supplied at all the times then there is not uh, it will not be sufficient to meet the fluctuation so considering the our pipe network designing of the system has to be made considering keeping in mind the fluctuations in the demand of water the fluctuations are of three types what is the seasonal uh, fluctuations or seasonal variation you can say daily variation and the hourly variation that means from macro to micro i am coming so from large to small slowly slowly i am going from large to small that means first i will discuss the seasonal variation in gross wave then i am going to the micro level that is the daily variation and finally the smallest unit that is the hourly variation that i am going to show so now if i talk for the seasonal variation that means you know in summer the rate of rate of water demand is uh, much more compared to the winter and any other season because summer we drink water much more so we can say in summer the rate of water demand is generally it has been seen that 30 to 40 percent higher then the annual average due to more water consumed for drinking bathing washing of clothes because our clothes become dirt dirty in the summer air coolers gardening etc plants also require water in the like us plantation is also watering in the plantation is also required more into the summer as we drink the water So watering required more in the plantation also. Then coming to the air cooler for for living comfortability, you require the air cooler in the summer for that the water you have to pour in the air cooler. Time to time closing of clothes because clothes are becoming dirty in the summer, and bathing always for making us comfortability. So in summer we have seen that 30 to 40 percent higher. usage water demand is more higher than the annual average demand now in winter the water demand is about 20% lower than the annual average as less requirement of the water for domestic uses but if we talk for the australia for example i am just giving the one example in australia some other country they are the domestic water demand in winter is higher because they are in the preparation in the getting of hot water for bathing the water consumption is more in the winter hot water for bathing and cleaning they require much more domestic water during the winter time so this is one typical example i am giving you for australia during rainy season the outdoor demand of water for gardening etc is much less because the natural rain automatically is watering the plants so automatically the demand of water is much less in the rainy season for the plantation for the watering in the plants now coming to the daily variations that means i am going to the micro level daily variations it depends on the activity which people are involved daily more water in sunday there are their activities much more because they are staying at home 
in home activity is much more in sunday and festival compared to the other weekdays because weekdays mostly we are in the office either in the office or in school college buildings institutional buildings so definitely it is seen that the sunday and holidays will be the usage of water in the domestic usage of water will be much more and that also depending upon the various activities to be performed in the holiday in the sunday so definitely in daily variations the sunday holiday will come a uh, role will come a, a bigger role uh, for increasing demand of those days now uh, depending on the day to day individual activities as i have said seen uh, as i mentioned for the holiday uh, sunday i want to specially mention the holy holy means the uh, our holy day they are the festive day color festival day they are the water usage is most the requirement is lower on the days of rain again if it is a monsoon then the requirement is uh, requirement of the day of the even even in delhi it is not i am take, taking for uh, the weekly i uh, am daily demand if some day is a rainy day then only it will affect on the daily consumption of the water so important for the design of network and pumping stations for reservoirs these factors are very much requires in india the maximum daily demand of water is generally taken as 180% of the annual average daily demand so 180% means if you divide 180 divided by 100 the peak factor is 1.8 my dear students maximum multiple questions uh, multiple choice question mcq objective questions for competitive exams for your academical exams are coming mostly from this uh, from this uh, variation of demands uh, what are the factor for maximum daily demand of water this question may be asked in the mcq question so these factors you have to keep in memory that maximum daily demand of water is generally taken as 180% of the annual average daily demand now hourly variations are very important as they have a wide range during active household working hours that is from 6 to 10 definitely we are busy in bathing and other activities where we require the water most after that we go to our school colleges institutional buildings office buildings so we are not staying generally at home after 10 o'clock because office and colleges start time from then so definitely up from 6 to 10 the requirement is more and again if we talk about from 4 to 8 in the evening the requirement water will be more because mostly the cooking process from 6 to 10 for lunch and 4 to 8 for dinner and when we return back from home uh, return back to home from our office then also, then also we require the water and 4 to 8 hours uh, at the end of the day is considering for the bulk quantity of water daily requirement of water and during other hours suppose if i talk from 10 to 4 that means 10 am to 4 pm so other hours it is negligible it is seen that the water usage is negligible so what we can see we can see the our hourly variations of the water usage water demand is also um, seen moreover if a fire breaks a huge quantity of water is required to be supplied during short duration necessitating the need for a maximum rate of hourly supply and as i told earlier that although the per capita demand is less is less compared to others in fire fighting but the discharge that is the liter per day applying those formula based on the population is very very high so if we talk for the hourly variations a fire break water is required to be supplied during the short duration then automatically the demand goes high so that we have to keep in the design of water system uh now in india the maximum hourly demand of water is generally taken as 150% that means the peak factor is 1.5 uh 150% of the 
average hourly demand on the day of maximum use of water for maximum day of the year so hourly peak factor is 1.5 now an adequate quantity of water must be available to meet the peak demand our design is based on always the peak demand we are interested for the peak demand because design always done with the worst conditions so considering the peak design uh, peak demand system will design our piping system watering system network to meet all the fluctuations the supply pipes service reservoirs and the distribution pipes must be properly proportioned the water is supplied by pumping directly and the pumps and distribution system must be designed to meet the peak demand the effect of monthly variation influences the design of storage reservoirs and the hourly variation influences the design of pumping system and the service reservoir so let us see what is the maximum daily demand maximum daily demand is 1.8 times of the average daily demand maximum hourly demand of maximum day that is the peak demand is 1.5 into average hourly demand if we convert average hourly demand means maximum daily demand divided by 24 you can convert so 1.5 times you know the maximum daily demand is 1.8 times into average daily demand so if you multiply 1.5 to 1.8 ultimately it will give 2.7 times the average daily demand uh, so uh, 2.7 times the average daily demand divided by 4 which is ultimately give you the 2.7 into annual average hourly demand so that means the multiplying factor that means the peak factor is being considered based on the fluctuations of demand which can which you can see that is whether it is in seasonal fluctuations whether it is in monthly fluctuations whether it is in the hourly demand whether it is in daily demand so depending on the conditions hourly uh, daily monthly seasonally accordingly you have to choose the peak factor like i can i can talk i can tell you that the maximum monthly consumption is 140% of the annual average daily rate of demand again if we go for maximum seasonal demand it is 130% of annual average daily report of demand so these factors you have to take in care while designing while considering the fluctuation system so this is the overall uh, overall topic of the uh, first lecture that is the water demand per capita demand and the variation of demand which is contained in your module 1 so uh, water requirement what we uh, actually what are uh, we use for uh, why what is the significance and importance of these topics of water demands because of if we can't calculate the water demand you cannot you cannot make a proper designing water systems so for that again we will see the water demands depend on the per capita demands so uh, that demand you know sector wise again if you go for the total water demand that means you have to multiply with the capital that means a person what do you mean by capital capital means person so if i say the residential or domestic demand is 135 liter per capita per day that means the questions coming what is the number of persons otherwise you can go for the total quantity of water is required for the city or for the town which you are planning and designing in the water system so the uh, number of capita number of person you have to calculate further and that will be the next uh, lecture where i will uh, show you how to forecast the number of persons that is the number of capita after 20 years or 30 years because whenever a designing system of water water uh, work system design is being done it is for a period of 20 to 30 years because time to time once the system is designed constructed and uh, 
uh, commission, it cannot be regular basis, it cannot be possible to alter, it cannot be feasible also technically, it cannot be financially viable also. So what do we do? We are projecting, we are forecasting that after 20 years, two decades or after 30 years, three decades, what will be the projected population that we can calculate? From that I will, how to calculate the projected population? That is the next topic of the class that I will teach so that you can calculate the projected population after 20 to 30 years and then it will be the number of persons will be multiplied with this water demand to calculate the total water requirement of the city or of the town based on which your water work system will be designed. So uh, this is my first lecture so let me close this uh, lecture uh, now I will give you some uh, questions uh, that is the uh, MCQ questions for further for further clearing the concept on these first topics and after completing these MCQ questions and discussion session will be there our live classes will discuss further the interaction process will be there one to one interaction process live classes will be there MCQ questions discussion will be there then only I can go to the next lecture when this lecture I can say it is complete from our end. Thank you. Goodbye. Have a good day.